Michael. While I was eavesdropping, I overheard you confide in Jason, that you want to hire someone to practice sex with. Oh cheese and crackers, how embarrassing. Yes. I want to hire a prostitute so I can get past feeling that sex is dirty and shameful. I understand, and I want to help you. Great. So, which wall should I throw you up against? Bitch. Well, not help you directly. That would be too weird, since I have already had sex with your father, your stepfather, your cousin and your two uncles. No, we need to find a slut. I'm not normal. I am so confused. And full of rage. Rage. Now, let's think who in this town is a real whore. Well, there's Carly. But she's my mother, so I think that would only make me more confused. How about Maxie? Or Brooklyn? They have too much hair. Do you know any girls who are bald and maybe have a Gucci? Not offhand. But I do know a hooker with a heart of gold and a brain of mush. Her name is Candy. Is she a tranny? I don't think so. But she is kid tested and pimp approved. This will be great. But Michael, you need, you know, protection. Oh don't worry. I'm bringing my axe handle. No. No. I mean you don't want to catch anything from her. Oh, you mean cooties. I don't know if I can prevent that since I'll be unconscious during it. This is going to be a little different from... Gee, Michael, I guess everything is difficult after what happened to you in Pentonville. Sitting down was hard after what happened to me in... Wait. I don't know what you were talking about. Nothing happened to me in Pentonville. Nothing at all. Maybe we should start with the primer course. Go over some basics. First off, you won't be having sex while unconscious. Oh, okay so I get to do the choking this time? Sort of. But not literally. How can I explain this? You don't need to explain sex to me, Sam. I know all about it from always walking in on people about to do it. My mom and Jax, you and Jason. And from watching Don K and Lulu. Oh. K. Well, still, you're going to need to know the ropes. Like I said, Don K and Lulu. It's important to warm up a woman first. Alright, so I should make her put on a coat. Got it. Let's move on. Once you and she are getting passionate, you must remember to stroke her gently and lavish her with soft kisses. Yes. Jax showed me all of that years ago. Will Candy also have ants in her pants? Women love to have their face held while you whisper sweet nothings. First I slam her head against the floor, then tell her I own her now and will sell her for a cigarette when I want one. Gosh Sam, I didn't know I already knew so much about sex. I'm not sure you're really getting this. No, I am. I really am. Well, it's just that you keep suggesting all these violent things, as if it were part of lovemaking. But don't women enjoy being with men who abuse them? Of course not. What a horrible thing too. Excuse me, but didn't Jason once threaten to kill you? And doesn't Sonny always leave his women emotional wrecks or dead? And how many times did Jack stump Brenda at the altar? And how long did Christina stay with Kiefer after he started beating her? You can't argue with success. Oh dear God. If only Molly were here to explain this to me. Thanks for the assist, Sam. Tell Candy I'll meet her here at the Metro Court at 10 tonight. I gotta go buy me some brass knuckles for my big date. <laughs>